Lindsay. I'm Kaylin. I'm Jordan. I'm Kilani. I'm Kyle. I'm Naomi. Jackie. Amanda. Come to the show! Well, I want to say that I'm super stoked that you guys are interested in going to Macau. It has been a wonderful experience so far. There's a lot I want to say, but we don't have the time. Maybe when we get back, I can tell you all about it. But right now, we're just going to do a raz and a rose. So something that we found challenging so far and something that we love. There's a lot more that I love. That's challenging. Um, I'll start with the challenging. Challenging is the food. I am a picky eater. It has probably been the hardest part. They have great food and I've tried some great things, but it's definitely hard to get used to. A rose is the people. Um, working with these students is completely different than any students I've ever worked with before, but I love them. I love going to school. I love seeing my kids. I love my teacher. And when I first got here, it was so different. I wasn't sure, but now I just, I love it. And I love going to school. And I hope that you can come that you're truly interested because it's an awesome experience. Thanks. Okay, so we've been in Macau for five weeks now, and it's been a great experience. Uh, so far, the only drawback for me has been there's not a lot of free Wi-Fi in places. And the places that there is free Wi-Fi, you can't really stay there and do your homework because everybody's in and out. And uh, a rose about this is that everything's so convenient. You can walk downstairs and on the corner there's a shop and there's different markets and McDonald's is right downstairs. And we get these for free. Excellent curtains for free. Hi, I've studied abroad tons of places, but even here it's totally different. Um, one of my razes is definitely the smells that come out of our sinks. They're not good smells, so buy air freshener. Yeah. And also that the beds are super firm, so get a mattress pad or something if you need it. And my rose is that we're spoiled by everyone we meet here, especially the faculty. and the apartment has been furnished more than I can even imagine. So, my rose! <laughs> so far my experience has been totally awesome, but I would say that my negative thing here is that I sweep my apartment at least once a day and still my feet are like Fred Flintstones. So, bring slippers. And something that I really like about Macau is all the casinos, all the stuff to do, and how much people really speak English and they understand you. Hi, it's so exciting that you guys want to go. Uh, I would say my Raz is miscommunication between um, different people like me and mentor teachers sometimes. We're saying the same words but not the same things. My Rose though is how much I learned about myself and education through this experience because it's so culturally different. So if I was going to tell you that you need to do something to come here with a flexible mind because things aren't going to be the same. But that's okay. It's just different. Hello! So, so far Macau has been pretty awesome. I've enjoyed working with everyone at the school. My students are so cute and they're so tiny. And everyone around is just so friendly and so easy to work with. But a couple of things that have been my downfall is sometimes a language barrier in some of the restaurants. Like the menus, it's all in Chinese sometimes. And then also the heat here. It's 80 plus degrees every day and I just don't do well with the heat. So, come to Macau! You ready? This experience has been awesome so far. A raz that I have is that there's no comfy place to sit. There's no couch. The chairs are kind of uncomfortable. Hard to get comfy unless you're in bed. My rose that I have is everyone is so friendly, so nice and so willing to help. And the, just the experience and ha always having something to do. Hello everybody, this experience has been so good. It has probably been one of the hardest things I've ever done, but the reward is so great. Um, I think the thing I've been struggling with the most, weirdly enough, is the weather. I am a cold weather person. I like my sweaters and my scarves and my boots and can't wear those here. I hate sweating all the time and that's such a weird feeling. But at the end of the day, I love the kids and I love the school and I've learned so much about myself and about teaching. So it's the weather, eh, I'll put up with it. <laughs>